Um, good morning everyone, welcome to my channel. For those of you that haven't been here before, my name's Janice. I'm a Thermomics Consultant. Um, today we're looking at changing recipes. Um, I'm just going simple. Changing recipes um, using the guided cooking. So this is just the TM6 custard using the um, sauce mode. Now I'm going to start cooking. So this, I like to do this, um, this custard is really fantastic, you know, like jelly and custard or for trifle custard. Um, the kids love it. So first thing we're going to do is it says 60 to 100 grams of sugar. I'm going to do 30 grams. I find that for me, for my family, that is enough. Um, so we just check it in the bowl, make sure it is empty, and then we're going to put 30 grams of sugar. Okay. Because I find any more than that, it's it's just too sweet. Um, and then we're going to. I'm going to do this. I generally. Um, if I'm just making custard for my family, I don't um, blitz the sugar. But because it's in the recipe, I'm gonna, it's just 20 seconds on speed nine. And it's just to make the sugar a bit fine so it dissolves a bit quicker. Down the sides with a spatula. Oh, yeah. Oops. See, we've ended up with uh, a mix between, it's somewhere between caster sugar and icing sugar. So, okay. So it says to scrape down the sides. About 25 grams. I'll just see what what I measure out. And a little bit more. Right yeah, 26 grams. Next change, I'm only using egg yolks, I'm not using the egg whites, I'm just, um, same amount of eggs, I just remove the whites. Um, 500 grams of milk, so 300 grams of milk I'm going to use. grams in cream. Giving us the um, correct quantity of 500 grams. Very good. And now I'm going to, instead of the lemon zest they wanted at the beginning, I'm just going to put in a couple of um, lidfuls of vanilla. And we're going to mix that. Um, we're going to put it on just on the sauce mode. I'm just thinking, can't remember what speed this is on right yet. Yeah. 
Let's go back. Because what I actually want to do is just, I just want to give it like um, speed four for a few. Right, and I'll show you. I'm just going to mix it together just to break up the egg and mix it into the I usually just give it a spur, stir with the spatula, but uh, right. beautiful. And now we'll go back to the recipe by going back to the bookmark. So that we're just, the sauce mode is just going to take it up to 80 degrees um, and it says it's going to take approximately 10 minutes. So I can step away now, I can put everything away, I can go on with the with my other projects um, and come back when this timer it goes off. Okay, we're back. Custard's done. And serve as desired. So, What I like to do is you can just leave it in the bowl, but um, I need it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour that in there and that will set quite thick. Um, so once it's, once it's cold, I just come in with a wire whisk and um, Give it a bit of a give it a bit of a stir up, and it's beautiful um, pouring custard. So I'll come back when this is cold, and I'll show you how it's set, and then I'll show you what happens with a little bit of whisking. Right here, I'll be back soon. Okay, so we're back with the custard. I told you um, I'd come back when it's cold and see how hard that is. So you can do it, this in the Thermomix. But my Thermomix is, it's washing itself up after I've just cooked tea. And I find a wire whisk. Works well too. I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually, if you give it a good beat up, it, it gets a really smooth texture and it's a beautiful pouring consistency. Nice thick custard. Um, you can adjust the amount of corn flour, the amount of sugar that you want. In a um, in a jug. Really, really good custard for um, trifle. Delicious with jelly. So. Mm. Delicious, yum, and that's just the plain old custard off the off cookie do. Um, in the basic cookbook 
and just it's just a little swap out you can do to make it a bit more luxurious and and delicious oh yeah thanks very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did could you please pop down um give it a thumbs up and then head over to my channel and subscribe and i really hope i'll see you next time